We are often caught up in ourselves more than we like to admit, allowing the lines of our lives to be laid out for others till they pull too hard and we retreat and quit. Each tug on our heart like a knot that's been tried far too many times to be fully undone. But instead of unwinding, we keep looking inside, digging holes to be filled by the feelings now numb. Tighter and tighter the tangle becomes, a vise on the air of our now restricted lungs, breath now releasing in stuttering stumblings as pressure we attempt to alleviate. Missing the forest that's pouring out for us, caught up in the battle to breathe or break, we want to be held. To be placed in a palace where the jewels of consolation and comfort line the beds where we sleep. But all of the carriages we jump in to take us there break down, leaving us lying on pillows marked abandoned and incomplete. Loneliness is a friend whom we've welcomed on in, and disappointment is the new guest of honor. A party of pity we throw for ourselves as the knots become harder and stronger. Self-introspection, a scalpel we use to try and surgically make sense of our suffering and shame. Caught up in ourselves, in our heavens and hells, broken glass is the mirror that our image is based. But is there another way? What if it's not all about us? What if the path to our unraveling was allowing ourselves to be undone by the one who entangles the knots that we fought tooth and nail to release, but the whole time we're focused on us and then never could look past all the layers of sadness and anger and therefore can never be free? What if we stopped trying to find our reflections in cracked mirrors of glass, broken by the words that our past and our presence have spoken, but instead found our image in the reflection of his gaze looking down on us when we can lift our eyes from the dust to the arms that are open? What if the surest way to be held was to hold? To break out of our doubt and our self-focused mold and pour out our love for the love that poured out. When it's not about us, then our knots are unbound. So come to the cross where your freedom is found. Hold and be held. Hear the beautiful sound that echoes from a heart finally free to face out. Resurrection is here. Unraveling is now.